This call is being recorded. And now turn around and see the earth below you. See your body, your physical body, way down there. Be aware of the separation from your body as well as the connection to your body. Notice there is even a connection, a tube or a cord that connects you. So you are never too far away from your body. Always connected back. And allow yourself now to drift higher and higher above, above the earth, up into space and see all of the planets now of the solar system and all of the many millions of ships that are located all around the planet in many different distances from the planet. Some around the Sun, some around Jupiter, all ready and waiting for the opportune moment to be able to step forward when the final signal is given. But now allow yourselves to continue to drift toward the sun, toward the solar sun, and move through the solar sun. There is a portal there, a gateway, that takes you right through the sun. And as you move through that portal and come out on the other side, you now have a, a portal or a gateway to other galaxies, to the many galaxies. And be aware now of all of the galaxies and all of the central suns within the galaxy, within all of those galaxies. And then finally continue until you've reached the core, the, the core of the universe, the center of the universe, that cosmic center where this universe began, that central sun of this universe. And feel a drawing toward that central sun as if you were being magnetically pulled toward it. And feel the intense energy coming from it. You may find, certainly in your astral body, that you cannot approach it too far. You cannot get too close to it. Now be aware of the intense energies that are emanating from this star, from this central sun. And see that brilliant white light coming from this sun. And connecting to all of the suns of the galaxies, the central suns of all of the galaxies in the universe as if this light was shooting through every sun till it finally comes to the sun of this, of this galaxy, your galaxy, and then through that into to the, cent to the sun of the solar system, and through the sun, and through all of the planets within the solar system. Mars, Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, all of the planets connecting all to that central sun of the universe, to prime creator of this universe, to the source, and through all of the ships and down finally to the earth, to Gaia that beam of light 
turning into a wave of energy, a brilliant wave of colors, many colors of the rainbow and beyond. And see as this wave moves across the planet, all of the people on the planet being activated by this wave. And at the same time, be aware now of the crystalline structures across the planet, the crystalline grid, and all of the many beautiful crystals that still abide within the earth, within Gaia, that are now rising to the surface. And as these crystals are rising to the surface, see also those two great civilizations of Lemuria and Atlantis rising up from their bottom abode within the ocean, rising up and see them breaking through the waves. as the Atlantis and Lemuria arise again. But know that it is not simply the continents that will rise, but it is the consciousness of those times, those civilizations which you each were a part of. And that consciousness is returning. A consciousness of love and oneness is returning once again to bring about the new golden age where once there was a golden age and it turned to darkness it is now darkness turning back to the light and you each one are that light so see all of the people including your bodies down there see them shining with brilliant light, lighting up the entire planet. Or if you remember, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, or the light. He was telling you then that just as he is the light, the I am is the light. The I am consciousness within each of you are the light. The light of the world. So see light everywhere on the planet now. And wherever there are still pockets of darkness, see those being illuminated by the light. And the crystalline structures all across the planet as they arise, connecting to each other, as if all of the crystals are now communicating with each other, communicating the Christ consciousness across the planet, bringing this wave of energy light from this universal central sun through all of the crystalline structures across the crystalline grid and to all of the people, the animals, the plants, and the minerals across the planet. All bringing life-giving energy to the planet. Whereas before man was taking the energy from the planet, now man is giving energy back to the planet.
Allow yourself now to begin to drift back from wherever you find yourself back to your Merkava light vehicle if you left it. Back into it, back down towards the planet, back down towards your physical body. Bring your Merkaba back in with your physical body. So your astral and your physical become one again. All neatly tucked back in. And your Merkaba light vehicle, your light body, completely surrounding your physical body as a force field of energy that will force out all darkness, all negativity of all kinds. Know and use it as a force field to repel all of negativity, all fear, all lower consciousness. And allow yourselves now to come back into a complete state of consciousness and circulation, fully revitalized and refreshed. And I am Ashtar to be with you once again in these continuing times, in these moments, these moments that are yet to separate those who are ready and those who are not. Now that is not to say that many across the planet will pass away in the death process. We would never say that. But that is to say that because of the energies coming into the planet, those that have already come in, and those that are still yet to immerse onto this planet, those waves of energy that have been spoken of, that are still yet to come, and coming they are. You are going to experience a great wave of energy in the very near future. Yes, in your month that you are in now. It is coming. Is it going to separate the wheat from the chaff? Not as you understand it. But it is going to bring about a separation, a separation of vibration for those who vibrate at the higher levels and those who vibrate at the lower levels. There will be a separation. Not that they will leave the planet. It is not time yet for that. But it is time for a reckoning within yourself each and every one on the planet, a reckoning, a reaching deep down within yourselves and finding that reverberation within yourselves that connects you to not only this planet, to the Earth, to Gaia, but to all of the planets of the solar system, to the Sun, to all of the central suns of the galaxies and to the central sun of the universe. The connection to source itself of this universe. This is what is happening with these waves of energy and this one major wave that is coming. that will affect a great many, not as the changeover or the event that has been spoken of, not yet, but as a major shift in energy that will reverberate across the entire galaxy as 
Melchizedek spoke to you about. A reverberation connecting all of you, all of you the way showers, connecting you all together as one again. And you are one, my friends. You are one with each other. You are one with us in our ships, in our fleets. You are one with the Agarthans and one with all of the company of heaven and all of the cosmic beings yet unknown to you. But you will come to know them, for they certainly know of you, each and every one of you. So it is time now to reach deep within yourself and find that reverberation within you that connects you to the all. Because the all is connected to you. I am Ashtar. I always appreciate these times that I can be with you and share in these manners, in this way. To continue to assist. No. No. To continue to assist and help no. you along the way of this transition. This transition that is preparing each and every one of you for the great ascension on this planet. All of my peace and love be with all of you for now and forevermore. Om Mani Padme Om Om Mani Padme Om 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 Greetings to you. One who serves back here with you again. We missed you last week, but we are here again. You can unmute your phones. We want to hear your wonderful voices. Are you there? Yep, yes, we're here. Yes, yes. yes. greetings. Yes, hello. Yes. 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 Greetings to you. Hello. Very good. Very good. As you are understanding and for your conversation earlier, you are certainly on the right track in that much is in process of a great shift in your month that you are in now, as you are coming to understand. Is it going to be the full event? Uh, possibly, but not likely at this point. But is it going to be a grand event in itself? Yes. You are going to experience a great shift of energy, as Ashtar has given here. And as Tara has also spoken of in different language, though, as she spoke of first contact, and as she spoke of prime interference, all of this is connected, my friends. All of this is connected. So be ready. Those of you that are going on that trip, that are preparing for this, get ready, because you have not yet prepared for what is going to be occurring there. And what you do there, as Melchizedek has said, will reverberate across the entire galaxy. Think about that as you continue on in your journey uh, to continue to uh, find the records, not only the records that are there in physical form, but the records that are there within you, continuing the journey within. Do you have questions here for one who serves? Yes. Uh, Julia had a question um, emailed in, one who serves. How many other planets would be in a similar crisis such as what Gaia has felt for so long? 
That is quite a difficult to answer in terms of quantity. I can tell you that there are many uh, opportunities yet to be available to those of you that wish to continue in your, uh, your journey that you have been on for quite some time in terms of being the system busters that have been spoken of. You have, as your saying goes, been there, done that before. And you will be likely uh, ready to do it again because there are many different opportunities yet available to you. Okay? Very good. And the next question, um, let's see. What is all this for and what was the original intention of Creator and who created Creator? And will there ever be a true oneness vibrating on all planets, levels, slash galaxies, slash planets? We will start with the question, who created Creator? We know that many of you have wondered about this from time to time because it is a natural uh, the currents who want to know to, for your three-dimensional mind to be inquisitive and want to come to an understanding. Because in order to have something created, there must be a creator, right? But in order to understand the creation process, you must understand that it always was. In other words, at one point, there was uh, what you would call non-creation in terms of unmanifest. Creation was unmanifest at some point. And that creator process, and we use the term process specifically here, that creator process was not yet aware of itself as being a creator or as being anything, rather. And then Creator said, let there be light. Let there be creation. Let there be something outside of myself so I can understand myself. You see? Because you must have something there that is different from what you are in order to understand what you are. And that was when creation began. Prime Creator... Now we are saying prime creator, not of this universe, but of all of the universes. And it is very difficult for the three-dimensional consciousness to begin to understand this. But we will add here that you yourselves are not of three-dimensional consciousness very often anymore. Many of you are now in fourth-dimensional consciousness. So to be able to begin to uh, understand this type of question you can begin to do. But as you begin to understand this question, you realize there is no reason to even ask the question anymore. You see? Because it is not necessary. Because you begin to know that it just is. Or just always has been. And when you come to that conclusion that life or creation has always been, then you do not need to know who created that creation. You see? Does this answer that question? Yes. Thank you. Very good. Are there other questions? Yes. Another one from the email, and this is from David. And um, he has a, a dream that he'd like to have interpreted. Last night, I had an extremely vivid dream that a golden ship had landed outside my home. People were standing around looking at it as I approached the beings from the craft, and they welcomed me and said they'd been waiting for me. They then took me inside, and I said, so all of this is real then? Even about the reptilians? And at that point, Lord Inky walked in, and I bowed to him. Up to this point, it all felt extremely real, and I really felt I was there. So what happened next is causing me to doubt. Inky walked past me, took the hand of a woman, and walked away. But as I looked up, he was wearing high-heeled shoes and a skirt. This has now got me doubting myself and my experience, which I really felt was thoroughly real. 
What was the dream telling me and why a gold <laughs> ship? What we can tell you, and not to uh, interpret this particular dream for just the one who has asked this, for we do not do that on these calls uh, unless that one who is asking for the dream interpretation is the one actually asking it on the call. But because this can pertain to all out there, it is showing that this is coming to a conclusion, you might say, where there will be those uh, beings that will be uh, communicating more and more here with this planet, with those here on the planet, those who are ready for this. And the idea that Enki showed up in this way and then turned into a more of a feminine expression is showing that there is both here, the, uh, the, uh, the masculine, the feminine, it is all uh, coming together as one. Masculine and feminine, uh, what is the word we are looking for? Divine masculine, divine feminine, divine balance is what is at stake here. And this is what this dream is showing to that one who asked it, but also to all of you to understand about this divine balance that is coming. Or even we will say, if you are looking at it from a certain perspective, it is already here. We believe Shoshana has joined us now, is that correct? Yes. Do you have a, a further comment on this, dear sister? All we would say about divine balance is that it, it is within each one to achieve the balance within their heart, mind, body, soul, and as each achieves this balance within them, it would be a reflection to the total. Okay. We would ask those on the phone to please, if you are not asking a question, please mute your phones now. There is very much uh, disturbance on the phone. That is much better. Thank you. Now we can move on. Are there other questions here? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, this is a two-part question. Uh, would you please clarify for us the difference between the third and the fifth dimension. What I'm asking is, is the fifth dimension a duplicate of the third, but just a much, much higher vibration of the third? You can okay. look at it that way, yes. It is a much higher vibration in consciousness. Consciousness and vibration are one here. And as you move from the third dimension or illusion that you are in, you move into a higher vibratory and in some ways still an illusion, but it is closer to what you might consider reality. But it is all part of the hologram. As we have shared some time ago, everything is a hologram. The entire universe is based on a hologram here. So you continue on in that sense but you move into higher vibration, higher consciousness, and along with that you move into a higher understanding of who you are in connection to your higher God Self, and even to the point of becoming completely integrated with your higher God Self and all of the multidimensional aspects of yourself at that time. Toshana, anything yes. to add Toshana here? Yes, Toshana wishes to share with this one, yes. with this brother. Yes. We see a very, we, we will show you an analogy that is in our perspective that the third dimension is like a small piece of candy. It is flavorful. It is delicious, but it is very limited. And then as we move up 
in perspective and vibration to higher dimensions such as the fifth dimension, the candy turns into a complicated tort with many flavors and and beautiful fruits and whipped cream and chocolate and complication of taste. And it is much richer and many more sounds and tastes and feelings and colors encompass these dimensions beyond our boxy, compartmentalized, third dimensional mind. So we must understand that the fifth dimension, even though it will bring many aspects of the third dimension with it, is much more expansive and richer. That is what we have to share with you. Thank you, brother. Namaste. Very good. And we have a further analogy we can add because of the analogy you have given. We can use this in terms of a, a scoop of ice cream. You have a scoop of ice cream as the third dimension, similar to the uh, piece of candy. And in the higher dimensions, you move up from that scoop of ice cream to more scoops of ice cream. Mm -hmm. And then higher up, you move into what you call your hot fudge sundae. I'm on my calls. I'm on my and then you 14 continue. minutes past eight. Please mute your phones. You continue to move up, and uh, finally you come to that pinnacle of your ice cream uh, extravaganza no. that you have, your banana split. You see? Very similar type of analogy here. We love that analogy you use there, Shoshana. Thank Wonderful. You. Thank you. Would there be other questions here now? Anything further? Then we can release the channel. And uh, anything to add here, Shoshana, before we release channel here? We would say to all that your journey is one of wondrous excitement and beauty from our perspective. It is a challenge for all. You all have done so well. You all have done phenomenally well on this realm, and you will continue to be the lights and the masters of the next dimensions. Namaste. And notice how she used the term, you have all done well. That means a conclusion of some type here. Just something to think about. Yes. Shanti, peace be with you. Be the one. Namaste. Shanti. Namaste. 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 Namaste.